That's in Central Africa, and boy, Chad, that's awesome. When you see the, the lava, they just, just like spewing straight up. Yeah, and if you can get to Goma, which is in the Congo, if you can get there, they will take you to go see this for $400. Really? Okay. It's a one-hour car ride and a four-hour hike, but you can go see this. This is almost a 1,000 feet in the sky now. This is all coming out of the uh, Miramura Jira, I'm doing the best I can on that, volcano in uh, the eastern sections of the Republic of Congo. So back here to the uh, to the maps will show you where Africa is obviously you know that the big Sahara Desert up here but then back into the Congo region and that little dot right there is the volcano we're talking about so <laughs> kind of a long ride from anywhere uh, one of the volcanoes not that far from it about 10 years ago did destroy part of the town of Goma but now this mountain here this volcano is far enough to the north of the town Goma way over there that the lava is spilling off to the north and not toward the town of Goma like this volcano did but boy I just go back to those pictures because because you can see from, it, you don't really get a reference point, but as the, the park rangers, and there are 350 park rangers now, escorting people to this event. This is almost a thousand feet in the sky, putting it into perspective, that's, you know, a, a, a big, big building. I mean, almost like the Empire State Building. That's how high some of this ash is spewing. This is the largest eruption of this volcano now in a century. It may not end for months. Suzanne. Uh, okay, Chad, that might be worth it, huh? To take that, that flight and that ride <laughs> and that drive to get there to see something like that. That's pretty uh, cool. Okay. I'll go to Kilauea in Hawaii instead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm